A lot of people get pain in their pelvis or in their hips. A lot of times what happens is they get they start to get rotation in the pelvis. So if this is a bad drawing of a pelvis, but you can understand these are the femur heads here. Um, here's your iliums, here's L5, L4, here's your sacrum. And so um, what you have to look at, and many times we can either do this by hand when people are on our, on our chiropractic table, the adjusting tables, or you can also look at people on x-ray. If you see hip height discrepancies on x-ray, if you notice on yourself, when you look at yourself in the mirror and you notice a crease on one side different than the other side in the side of your app, like on, this, on your side just above your hips, if you notice a crease on one side, that can be a sign of rotation and even scoliosis of the lumbar spine. So that rotation or potential rotation of the pelvis, because usually what will happen is one side will rotate one way while the other side compensates and rotates the opposite way. So you'll have, or they can both rotate forward or they can rotate posteriorly. So there's all sorts of types of rotation that can happen within the pelvis. And this rotation causes a lot of imbalances. It can cause your leg lengths to change. It can cause, and when that happens, then you have weight distribution issues. So that rotation of the pelvis is or understanding that and if you have that trying to work to correct that is vital to keeping a healthy spine a healthy low back and just really creating a lot of balance through that through the lower half of your body to help distribute forces etc which will ultimately lead to more life less pain and just better overall motion and movement